guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming for you. It's a Valentine's Day gift guide. I did like men's and women combined just because I had some ideas of what I'm getting my boyfriend this year and then I just thought of some things that in case any guys are like searching to find what to get their girlfriend or wife or fiance or friends or whatever or if you don't know what to get any of your friends I just wanted to put some ideas together so that you guys had it and um, if you want to see what I think would be an awesome gift for Valentine's Day then please keep watching. First things first I actually picked this up for this video because I think that this is such a good gift. Um, men really or women but mostly for girls this is a like big thick blanket scarf so this one is from Zara it was $35 um, it's just like super thick I love the like black and gray I think it's so 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 cute um, and I just think that this is such a good gift like if you don't want to really like splurge or buy anything too crazy or if you aren't sure like what size to get your girlfriend or what exactly she likes like everybody likes a scarf you can pair it with a bunch of different things and it's something that they can wear all the time um, and the same thing with your guy like if they like to wear stuff like that I think it's a really good gift because you don't really need to know the size or they don't have to like match it with something like it can just go with everything all the time so a scarf okay next is a thing that is definitely men or women again I picked this up for this video as well this is like just a um, rope, but it's a three-piece rope. So it comes with an eye mask as well as, I'm sorry, the sun is like coming right in here, um, as well as like a loofah in the shower. And I think that this is such a good idea to either get like a girl or a guy and a, to just like top it off, which I think would be so cute, is to like put in like a gift card to a spa or like a mani-pedi for your girl or like a couple's massage or something like that. So you guys have something fun to do together, but then also like it kind of ties in with the gifts. So I think that this is a really good idea. And this robe is super, super soft. I found this specific set, I believe, at Macy's. So they have these like everywhere, but um, definitely can pick them up anywhere and I think it's such a good idea. So next is actually what I am giving Franco for Valentine's Day. He doesn't watch my videos, so don't worry. He will not see this, but I mean sometimes, but like rarely ever. And um, I am giving him this North Face raincoat. So it is just like a pretty thin raincoat. It has like the North Face logo. This I got from Nordstrom. It is the men's venture jacket in color black it's 99 dollars. i got him this because he has like a nice north face like thicker winter coat um but i think it's really nice to like have something a little bit lighter because like he's always hot and like never wants to wear it but sometimes it's just like a little chilly out it's like a perfect windbreaker or something he can wear as it starts getting a little bit warmer and that i think he'll wear all the time so wanted to get him that and i i absolutely love it i think it's such a good gift next how cute are these okay these little mugs are from pure one they say like xo and they have like how cute is the little handle i think that this is such a good gift for like any coffee lover or anybody who drinks tea every day or just like a little cute like almost like how you give someone a stocking stuffer on christmas but like a valentine's day stuffer like you could put little candy in here or you could put like buy some coffee or cake cups or something like that i just think that, that it's so cute and it like goes with the valentine's day theme and i just think it's like I collect mugs like I love having a bunch of different types of mugs like my mugs don't all match so I love it personally but um, if the lucky man or woman in your life likes coffee I think these are so cute um, and I recently got them there so they should have them in stock in your local store so something that I think is like just such a good always gift is cologne and perfume so this cologne I bought for Franco this is the Jimmy Choo man you guys this is their first men's cologne it smells incredible sorry about that it smells exactly how like I think a man should smell like I love this and funny story about this we were in Vegas in the Jimmy Choo store shopping and Franco doesn't like to shop so he's sitting down sorry I'm like rambling but I have to tell you this so he's sitting down tr I'm trying on shoes we go we leave and he was like sitting I guess next to the men's section and sprayed himself with this so we go to leave and we're walking like around the um, casino and I'm like somebody just walked by and smells so good I'm like they smell amazing and he's like kind of embarrassed that he had just sprayed himself, which is just so funny. And he's like, oh, really? Like, I don't smell it. And I'm like, no, like, we need to go find that person. So, like, I'm ready to go, like, find this person. And he's like, Jenna, 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 it was me. I sprayed the cologne in Jimmy Choo. So we walked back. I'm like, I am buying you this perfume or this cologne, and we got it. I love it. You guys should go smell it. It is amazing. And then you guys know I talked about this in my favorites. This is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume. I just think that, like, the pink is cute. It, like, goes for Valentine's Day, and it's a really romantic, like, sexy smell. So I think it's, like, a really good perfume to get your loved one on Valentine's Day or a friend. 
Next, if you want to splurge a little, I think this purse is such a cute Valentine's Day gift. This is the Rebecca Minkoff um, quilted bag. It's like the perfect like reddish burgundy shade. I love this bag. I use it all the time. Um, and I just think that it would be like perfect for Valentine's Day because the color um, and it's like at a pretty reasonable price point, but it's something that's like super simple. You can wear it all the time every day. My wallet like fits perfectly in there. It's really spacious. Um, I almost wish I had this in like more colors because I absolutely adore this bag. And I think it's a really, really, really good gift. Like whenever my cousins or my brothers like call me like, what do I get? my girlfriend or fiance or wife, I'm like, a Rebecca Minkoff bag. It's just perfect. It's so easy and it goes with everything and it's just a perfect gift. Next I'm going to talk about something like a little bit more sentimental if you want to get um, the lovely lady in your life a piece of jewelry. So this is something that I actually got from Valentine's Day from my mom a couple years ago. I wear it every single day. I'm not wearing it today because I took it off to show you guys, but it's from Neiman Marcus and it's just this little dainty necklace and actually right here it has an M on it. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if like Maybe you can see now. It has a little M right there, and then mine just has a cross that um, we put on it myself. This is actually the cross that my brother was baptized and given, um, but he doesn't wear it now, so it was like so nice that my mom let me take it to put on here just because it's like sentimental with them. And the reason why mine has an M, which you guys are probably wondering, um, is because my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister's middle name, my nephew's middle name, both my grandmothers on both sides, all their names start with M. Um, so it's really meaningful to me, and I think that that's part of why this gift is so sentimental, is because it's not like a J about me, it's for other people in my life that I love so much. So I think that that's super cute, like you can either get like your initial for them, or you could get like maybe a letter that signifies something to them, or maybe like if you're engaged to them, or married, like your new last name, or a kid's names, or anything like that. I just think it's so, so, so nice. And then again, like if you want to put something on it, it doesn't come with anything on it, it's just the chain. But if you want to like put something on it, like this cross is so meaningful to me as it's my brother's and I love it and like he was like I don't care I don't use it and like my mom was just keeping it in a drawer and I was like oh and I love it so I think that this is such a good gift idea for jewelry okay next I'm gonna talk about a gift that I think is such a good gift for Valentine's Day it's usually in like a great price point and everybody loves this and you can never have too many pairs so it's sunglasses so I'm gonna talk about two pairs one these are um, a pair of Gucci sunglasses that have like the chain on the sides. This is for the more like glamorous woman in your life. They're super, super cute. I absolutely love them. And then if you have a little bit more of like an edgy or trendy girl, I think these Ray-Ban Wayfarers are so cute and they're good for boys or girls. So you can get them um, either. And I love mine. Like I don't wear them too, too, too often, but like I love that I have them for when I want them. Like whenever I'm wearing like ripped jeans, like a band tee, I like love to put these on. I just think they're so cute. And my brother also has them. Franco doesn't have them, but he has like a, like the newer version of them. And um, so they come out with different styles and you don't have to pick these two, obviously get whatever sunglasses you think would look best on them. But I think that that's such a good gift for anyone. Okay, next, the gift that I'm gonna talk about is just something super simple. It's just buying a frame and putting a picture of you and the person that you're giving it to. So this is just a picture of me and Franco on a vacation in this really cute frame that just goes perfectly in our room. Um, so if you know what their house decor is or if you know what colors they like or maybe like a football team they like, you can get like the colors of that and then just put in like a really nice picture. I just think giving somebody like a gift like that is just like so nice and it's so thoughtful and like you took the time to print something for them and it's just something that they'll always have. Like you're always going to have that out in your house and let it remind you of the person that you love. And so I just think that that's such a good gift. Last but not least, I wanted to kind of talk about gifts that don't cost any money. So something that I always do on, and I'm a super, super big fan of for any holiday, is a card. Um, whether you make it yourself or you go and buy one and write something really nice inside, I just think there's no gift without a card. Like, I don't want a gift without a card. I just think the card is the most important part where someone writes something nice to you and really, like, expresses their feelings or their thankfulness or that they miss you or that they're happy for your birthday or whatever it is is just so important on a card and you can make one yourself um, and really write something really nice to the person that you love um, and then last but not least um, just to go and do something together it doesn't necessarily have to be something that costs money I mean you could do something like concert tickets or something like that and have a memory together but it could just be like making a picnic lunch and going and eating it outside or going ice skating or going to do something really fun that you don't typically do um, just because I think like building memories together is really just the most important thing so like 
Franco and I, um, we will go out to eat. We always go to our favorite restaurants. Like, that's not something that we don't ever do, but we really only go there on, like, special holidays. And then we're going to actually take a day and go to D.C. and walk around. So we're going to drive all the way down there and just kind of go walk around and explore and just go somewhere new that we don't always go to or that we hardly get the chance to go to. So building a memory together is something I think that's really, really important for Valentine's Day and really, like, shows the person that you love more so, I think, than a material item. So I think that that's what's most important. And that's really what it's about, is it's not about, like, boyfriends or girlfriends or husbands or wives. It's really just about, like, showing people around you that you love them that you love them. And you should do it every day and not just on Valentine's Day, but it's a fun little holiday. And, like, it's, like, a t totally a Hallmark holiday, but I love it. So, yes. That is it for my Valentine's Day gift guide. Please let me know in the comments down below, like, what you're getting your loved ones or if you have any ideas that I missed because I may want to be adding one more gift to Franco, so please give me your ideas. I hope that you guys like this video, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. I put up new videos every single week. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.